Good morning! It's my first day of, um, like, on the new job. Um, so yeah, I had to leave a l like way earlier than usual because I am um, starting at 8.30 today instead of like the time I'd usually come in. Um, but I actually got here quite early, so I guess the traffic wasn't too bad. There was a lot more cars on the road. Um, and yeah, I feel kind of silly because I realized when driving here that the outfit I'm wearing is the outfit I wore for my last, like the second round interview. So I'm like, oh, I hope no one remembers, which I'm sure they don't. Like, but yeah, I think I have a really full day packed. I didn't even bring my lunch because in my schedule it says like lunch with my supervisor. So I'm not sure if we're like grabbing lunch together or what, but we'll find out. I'm probably going to start walking soon just because I don't know like what route to take to walk to the new office. Um, and yeah, I'm meeting someone to do like HR stuff, look through my paperwork. And then I think after meeting someone for my tech, so then I'll get my laptop and everything. But yeah, happy first day of no more temping. <laughs> So I'm just walking to my office now. It's pretty foggy today. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, it was a little bit foggy on the drive here. Got my tea with me and I'm kind of matching. <laughs> I feel like it's so early on campus right now that like no one's here yet. <laughs> it's a little strange feeling, but, but yeah. Take a bath.
Good morning! So it's 7 a.m. and I'm about to leave um, to make it in for 8. You know, leaving extra in case there's traffic. And it's raining today. It's kind of gross in San Diego. It's like cloudy. Um, so I guess this is our winter. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm going to be typically working on campus on Thursdays. And I found out that today is my last full day until the new year because next week is our holiday party. So we're closing the office at 2 and then the next following Thursdays is holidays. So yeah, I'll be working from home uh, for the remainder, but yeah. <laughs> Rainy? Which one is it? Oh, it's just one treat today. You don't get two, just one. I want to see you get the artwork. It's so funny. So I'm going to my first baby shower. Like now i'm a little bit late but rj's already there drinking with the boys so i'll head over there in a little bit but i'm gonna have some liquid iv because if we're gonna be drinking kind of need to be prepared but yeah i finished my first week of the new job so far i'm still doing trainings and trying to get access to the system so i'm kind of like kind of stuck because i can't really do much right now they even gave me like three outfit or like three tops like top store like with logos and everything i don't know if i need to wear them but maybe when we're like outside of the university you may need to wear them i don't know yeah i believe this one is strawberry flavored i'm gonna mix it <laughs> um next week is actually our holiday party so it'll be like the first time meeting most of the team in person since we are mainly remote um so yeah that's Exciting, get to new, meet some new people. Everyone seems pretty nice so far. So I'm just walking over there now. They live in our complex. Um, but I'm realizing I probably should have brought my sunglasses because it's pretty bright. Hey. These are forehead muscles. Okay. and her Christmas tree over there. Yeah. That's your Christmas tree. That's yours. It's my third week, I think, now in the new position. 
I'm working from home obviously and I'm still doing a bunch of trainings. So still kind of going through like training files and getting them like assessed before I can move forward into like other files. Um, but yeah, I'm about to make some coffee here. Just using the AeroPress again. I actually bought ooh, RJ like one of those pour over kettles because it can control how you like pour this <laughs> for your like drip coffee. You put the little plunger thing <laughs> and just let it steep for a little bit. And then I'm also gonna have um, a donut that we picked up from Great Maple on the weekend because we finally like were able to get in because every time we try to go to Great Maple, the wait is like an hour and a half or like some ridiculous time that we end up just going somewhere else. Um, but it was only like 20 minutes when we went last time. So yeah, I'm gonna have the rest of this maple bacon donut and there's legit bacon on here um it's pretty rich so i only had like half another time and oops i just saw someone like walk by outside and i was like who's that so here's the donut it doesn't look as good as when we first got it but i'm sure it still tastes amazing <laughs> um and i'm probably gonna press that on my coffee i also just heated up some milk and i'm gonna froth it i kind of wish I kind of miss my um, frother that I had in Vancouver because it like would actually heat up milk and stuff like that. So maybe I should get one soon. <laughs> but yeah, I just got back from the post office. Um, it's obviously pretty crazy, but because it's like the week of Christmas. Um, but yeah, I had to send out some more gifts and cards to like friends and family. And the shipping prices are ridiculous, especially for um, sending it internationally, so Canada. Um, but yeah, this may be the last time I'm gonna send stuff. <laughs> and I think in the future, I'm just gonna order stuff in that country and get it shipped directly to their house. Um, just because the shipping costs are so, so crazy. Okay, so I'm finally, finally, finally writing our Christmas cards, um, more so like, Putting them together and gonna mail them out because long story we ordered you know those like um, one hour photos from walmart just because that was like the cheapest okay most the cost effective and um quickest time turn around to get the photos so we put in the order um uh, so first <laughs> back things up again we went to go take um photos and we, all, we were also a week behind of when we originally planned to go take photos. So we went to go take photos on the like weekend. And then the following weekend, finally, like, it was like, okay, we got to actually order the photos now. Um, pick on a design and, you know, what photos you want to use. And we put in the order. And I was waiting all day, like refreshing my email, checking to see when can I go pick it up because it was like a one hour. But I was like, oh, like, you know, it's the holidays. Um, I'm going to assume they're like delayed anyways. So I was like, okay, maybe this evening we can go pick them up. Nope, nothing. Uh, 24 hours later, nothing. We waited till, I think I waited till the Tuesday and then I gave them a call. And then, what is today? Wednesday, they told me to call back today because maybe they will, oh yeah, they ran out of paper, the one I like originally chosen. So they were like, call back and the next day and see if you have a paper. And I was like, okay, I'll give you the benefit, benefit of the doubt that your paper is coming because you ordered, you know, it's the holidays. You made sure you had enough orders, I mean paper. What do you call it? Supply? I don't know. Um, you should have all of those those things ready. And now it's the holidays and people are ordering things last minute and there's no more paper. So on Wednesday, I actually went in store because before this all morning, I was trying to call them and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be that Karen and go over to Walmart and, you know, see what's up. I go straight to the photo guy and I was like, so like, you know what's happening? Like I ordered this on Sunday, like it's now Wednesday, like it's supposed to be 24 hours or I mean one hour. 
um, he's like, oh, we're out of the paper you wanted. Um, so you can either like cancel your order or maybe go to, to a different location. And I was like, okay. Um, so I was like, can you check which locations have like their paper supply stock? So I don't, you know, go over there and they don't have the paper or any. Um, he's like, no, we can't do that. So then I get home and I'm trying to call the other locations. I get put on hold or get like, just like hanged up. Um, and I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna, you know, try. I'm gonna order, put in the order and see. So I put in the order and then maybe like a couple hours later, it was like, it's ready for pickup. I was like, oh. so like I literally jumped in the car and went to go pick them up. When I get there, they tell us that there's this like little streak in the cards because the printer messed up. Um, I don't want to spoil it too much, but see, there's like that. And then there's also the same one on the back over here. And, and she's like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, she's like, we're sending someone to come in to fix it. I'm like, um, like tonight. And she's like, no, probably tomorrow. And by the time, like, I just wanted to have them done. I wanted to have them in my hand so I can start mailing them out to people. And I was like, um, she's like, I'm like, can you give me some sort of discount? Cause it's like damaged. And she's like, well, you have to call like the Walmart, like 1-800 number. We can't do that here because you're already paid online. I was like, okay. And she's like, so you can, you can take them or you can dispose of them, blah, blah, blah. And obviously I'm going to take them. I'm going to get a refund and I'm still going to send them out because whether I like to admit it or not, or like I know is that people, you just recycle these um because it's you know an annual like card thing that you don't really need to keep so i get that i don't really want to print another like another set of these and these go to waste so i'm going to use them sorry to in advance to anyone who's getting one of these um and you have that little mark and we also rushed this so we didn't really know what messaging to say so there's that but anyways, I'm gonna get back to writing out um, the little cards. And I have my first holiday work party tomorrow, so I need to figure out what am I gonna wear. <laughs> so stay tuned.